they launched ALBA in 2014, uh, which uh, currently is made up of eight countries in Latin America and the Caribbean that represent over 70 million people. Uh, they are Antigua and Barbuda, Bolivia, Cuba, Dominica, Ecuador, Nicaragua, Saint Vincent, and the Grenadines and Venezuela. Uh, Honduras was a member until the coup in Honduras. Uh, and, uh, Roberto Micheletti afterwards uh, decided to retreat from the organization. So ALBA was born as a plan for Latin American integration proposed by Venezuelan president back in 2001. And uh, then they added the People's Trade Agreement part. So the official name is ALBA TCP, which is uh, Tratado de Comercio de los Pueblos, this is the Spanish acronym for the People's Treaty of Commerce or Trade. Um, uh, it has several purposes and principles, which is uh, the one of or one of the important ones is that commerce and investment shouldn't be merely ends and of themselves. They should be means to reach equitable and sustainable development. That economic cooperation should be fostered within countries, not only competition, uh, cooperation and solidarity should serve as the foundation for the special plans of the region and the region's least developed countries. Energy and integration within the, for, within the region to ensure energy security for all countries and regional capital for investment instead of reliance on investment from uh, beyond Latin America and the Caribbean, which is huge, and the protection of the environment. ALBA has had several initiatives in finance, in economics. We have, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Petro Caribe, which is one of the very important ones. Uh, we don't, I don't know if we have still time to cover, but well, there are many accomplishments that I encourage you to uh, read about because even if we had another half an hour, it's so much to, to talk about the, the accomplishments of ALBA that it, it would, we could be here for hours. Uh, all the, the, the ALBA countries have uh, eliminated illiteracy. Uh, they have a huge increase in access to healthcare, uh, to free and good quality healthcare. Um, it's really uh, a number of things that translates in better quality of life for the people. Uh, I could I could have sit, sat here and just give tons of numbers and numbers, people, because we have many of those. But what is important is to remember that it's this this is not just numbers. This is people that eat, that go to the doctor, that go to school, and that a bunch of years ago probably wouldn't have the chance. As I said, I ate in the school with the with the uh, a school a food program. It's the pie is the name in Spanish. It's that's easier for me with pie. But uh, I probably would have gotten to to eat at home if not. But most of the kids who went to school with me wouldn't. So the Bolivarian Revolution, not only in Venezuela but in Latin America, is it's something that is really affecting and making a difference in people's lives. And that is why they haven't been able, even with all of the destabilization and all of the plans that they've been carried out, even with the coup in 2002 and the actions earlier this year, which was pretty much a coup, just slow motion, uh, they haven't been able to defeat us, and they won't, because the Venezuelan people has the will of doing this, and so we will. And I, I'm going to stop so that we can have time for questions and comments. Are, are there any questions?